千本桜影良し<笑>今のうちだ What is a sample tool? What is it used for? What does it do? What are its traits? We're gonna find out on Zangpato Explained by yours truly, Talking Anime. Alright, guys. So, we've got Zangpato from the anime Bleach, which primarily is a soul cutting sword. It's a primary item, it's one of the main things in Bleach, the anime itself. So, Zangpato is a soul cutting sword or another name for it is a soul slayer it's the main weapon of the shinigami the aranka and the visor and the shinigami art of wielding the sambato is called zanjutsu right that's the, that's the name for it that's their art that they go by their martial art i should call it so yeah the zanbato of a low ranking shinigami are called asushi and do not have name but the zanbato of high ranking shinigami do have names and it's sealed state in its still state, Azamato has the form of a Japanese sword, so it might come up as a katana, anything just like a normal Japanese sword. Obviously, it varies between different per person, people to people, for example. Anyways, so yeah, it's a Japanese sword. So, each sword has its own unique name, and once you learn the unique the sword's name, the sword creates its own form, completely unique to the person wielding the Sangpato or the sword or whatever you want to call it so so yeah the shape differs depending on its owner it, it changes some of them have spikes some of them get smaller some of them get longer some of them get large for example Ichiko Kurosaki when he first learned his soul, sword's name his sword was humongous and that's just based on the fact that he has a his, his, his spiritual pressure or his soul was very large and the power within it was very large and humongous but the way it transferred was it showed within his sword for example but it doesn't necessarily mean someone is weak because there's lots of characters within bleach that have a smaller maybe more tarnished sword which is more sleek and more visually appealing i should say or easier to use which are still epic beasts so it just depends on the person completely and how their power is outputted for example so ichigo versus kurosaki is a very I should say loud person when it comes to fighting is very like just, just rough with it where you might have someone that's more um, sleek and swift such as Byakura. Byakura. Obviously if you haven't watched Bleach you don't know what I'm talking about but let's get back to what a Sanpakuto is. So yeah, Sanpakuto are the trademark weapons of the Shinigami capable of cutting down spiritual body. They are among the few weapons which can be used to combat hollows. Hollows obviously are like I don't know how can I put it monsters for example yeah hollows are basically monsters spiritual monsters souls in which turned into monsters so yeah demons of some sort each Shinigami, each Shinigami carries a Sambato and each Sambato is unique the souls are a reflection of Shinigami's power and soul and sent and sent on all beings unto themselves the Sambato's name is the name of the living spirit which empowers the sword and lead and lends its strength to the Shinigami who wields it these beings can vary greatly in appearance and have their own distinct personalities which are similar to their owners that brings me back to what i was saying about if you're very rough and you're outgoing your, your, your sword might come out massive for example so yeah a zampato's shape and abilities are based on their shinigami soul once the shinigami learns his or her zampato's name they can communicate with one another and grow stronger together zampato are born with their shinigami and they die along with their shinigami shinigamis use them in battle as a reflection of their heart when released, they can display a vibrant power. They are one with the Shinigami and they, have, they share Shin, a Shinigami's convictions. Yeah? The only known exception is how to a Zambakuto to a is, is unique to a Shinigami ca carrying it is the Shinken Hayoken, in which is a Zambato passed down from one generation to another. That's the only exception, right? So, yeah. So, obviously, Sangpatos are basically swords with names. Now, once you learn your sword's name, you then release its true power. And then if your sword does, if you then grow with your sword, then you then learn your sword, then your sword will get the ability Bunker, which is basically a second form, yeah? Which is basically the sword's last form. In some cases, like, obviously at the start, it's the last form. Any of the swords bleach, no, further on, things change. But, yeah, it's the sword's last form. So. It depends on if you've grown a bond with the sword and it also depends 
if you're strong in general because unless you're strong you do not get a bunkai and some people say some people might dispute this for Kala Saraki can but he's a he's a separate topic completely so yeah so yeah once you learn how to bunkai that's basically the last form and then if your sample told doesn't trust you it might give you a fake name which can actually lead in catastrophe can catch yeah it can lead and that can basically lead to disaster okay so we know how epic a sample talk is and what learning this name actually means to the world of itself and how important it actually is to developing their skills and to go further within combat for example so yeah um Zampa Tok uh, possess their own rates, which is basically power, spiritual power. We know this. Um, a Zampa Tok cannot use element or attacks or more than one or, or, or of one more than one element, for example, right? Yeah. So a Zampa Tok have a, has a true form. Their true form resides inside the Shinigami. A Zampa Tok has a mind and body which controls their power. Get me? Shinigami can grow the more powerful by communicating with example to or, the, or the, the person inside their sword for example so yeah that's basically sangpat to explain i hope this helps some people that might be watching bleach currently but they don't understand the concept behind it or people that want to get into the anime bleach and they want to know what a sangpat to is or what's the, the weapon that they use and they just wanted to know it in more detail for example is it for it to be explained and i just try to help it i just hope that i made it more simpler i don't know this is talk with anime I hope you enjoyed this video, peace out, leave your comments below and yeah, let's hope Bleach returns 2018.